مدد أولياء الله أعينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نحن بفضل الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is companionship with the good, good ones and goodness is in the group مدد يستطان أولياء سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز الزغستاني مدد يستطان أولياء سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل الحقاني مدد سيد الشيخ محمد عادل الرباني We always start by asking support, heavenly support. This is the way. The way is to have no claims. As Muslims, we follow Al Masum, the most perfect one, who showed with everything Allah gave him, with everything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him from his ataya. We only speak about it, but we have no reference point. Just Maqam al Mahmud, Kawthar, Al Hawd. What are these? We, yani what we learn, what our small capacity or ability or understanding can imagine, but it's nothing really. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave. Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, what no imagination can imagine in Isra Mi'raj gave us a ishara things to reflect upon so that we understand his status he said the story between him when he uh, to Jerusalem, 124,000 Nabi wa Rasul وسلم, were waiting for him. This is also Ishara for those who say MB are dead. Those who claim that the Rasul وسلم, خلاص, he can benefit you, he's not anymore. He's how oh, how long ago Sayyidina Ibrahim was uh, walking this earth? How many thousands years? How many thousand years uh, Sayyidina Musa was walking the earth? Sayyidina, Sayyidina Salih, alayhim salam ajma'in. Sayyidina Adam. All of them were waiting for him in Jerusalem. Ta'zim, tawqir. Respect, glorification, magnif. Why? And who 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 asked him to be their imam? Sayyidina Jibreel. Jibreel alayhi salam asked him to be the imam of Anbiya. All of them waiting for him. For anyone who doubts the status of our Nabi amongst the Anbiya, he little bit. Later, he showed that even the highest, the chief of angels, rank of the chief of angels is less than the, the rank of our Prophet When Sayyidina Jibreel reached Sidrat al-Muntaha, the farthest low tree, what we even, again, we speak about low tree. What is the low tree? We say this low tree is bigger than the rest of, covers all creation. Above every the heavens, above everything, it covers it. And Allah subhanahu in that night when He manifested on that uh, uh, on that tree, they say that it had such a dress of majesty and beauty that never before the angels witnessed it. And all the angels were there to to witness who. The one who's being honored, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. He was the one that is celebrated that night. A, a problem with Mawlid. What do you say of Isra and Mi'raj? If you don't want to celebrate Milad, what about Sidrat al-Muntaha? 
إذ أوحى إلى عبده ما أوحى where he revealed to his to his servant what he revealed he gave it left it open what he re- what Allah revealed to his servant ما زاغ البصر وما طغى and look at your the heart of your Nabi صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم with all the magnificence of this these awalim these worlds that he was witnessing his eyes never wavered his heart never influenced ilahi and his lord only allah for him not looking left not looking right and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed when when allah ordered him to come to him and sayyidina jibril said this is this is my station here. This is the farthest I can come with you. What is this? What is what is what what minds Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? What has Allah done to us? Because of something Allah knows, because of the corruption on earth that we can't see now the adama and the grandeur and the, the magnificence of Sayyidina Muhammad, وسلم, nor can we appreciate him, nor can we honor him and praise him as he is, is required. What happened to us? When it is right in front of us, these are from Sihah al-Hadith. This is, this is from uh, Isra al-Ma'raj, is from Quran and from the Sunnah of Prophet Showcasing the rank of his Nabi that he took him to Qaba Qawsayni Abu Adna, a place where there is no place, where, where there is nowhere. Nearness where no one knows what kind of nearness is that. Ulama al sunnah they, they say that he saw him, some say he saw him with the eyes, with his jariha, with the eyes of his head. There's a difference of opinions. Some say with his heart. Some, a few say that he see him with, uh, with either. But, it is for us Muslims to understand that someone who is whose rank is of the angels to be happy to show it that he is our Nabi, that he is our intercessor, our Shafi'i. Ya Rasulullah, we're, we're reciting, Ishfa'lana, intercede for us, Ya Nabi. He is our intercessor, he is our way, he is our Imam. When Allah calls, Every nation with their imam. He is our imam. How, how much honor Allah has given us. How much grants and ata Allah gives us to be Ummat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The ummah of the most magnificent in Allah's creation. So when we come together, let's do milad or let's do, people think, Nowadays, people think it's too much. It's unnecessary. No. You have to show love and respect to that one if you want to be honored and respected by Allah and his creation even. If you want to be dear and near, you have to show that one your honor and respect. You have to remind yourself and your family and those around you of his stature. You have to instill that love in your children. The Superman of this world is not the guy of Marvel. No. The real Superman is Sayyidina Muhammad. He is the one that will save billions. Allah knows how many of human beings destined for punishment. He will save them. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we, alhamdulillah, Allah granted us to come and sit together and mention something about our Prophet Wasallam to remind us and those who are listening and to come and say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, to come and say, Salawat ala nabi In this instant, there are angels in every instant from the hadith. They are navigating, looking, for a dhakir in Allah, looking for majadis al dhikr. And anytime people sit together like this to uh, make dhikrullah 
any time they will find this this group of people any group of people coming for dhikrullah they will sit around and they will cover them with their wings and they will call each other and one ring over one ring all the way to the heavens we can't see what we believe we believe in everything unseen the Prophet ﷺ described for us. He is a Muslim. He said, if you sit, if you sit for dhikr, the angels will come all the way to the heavens. And Allah will ask them, what are you doing? What is my servant doing? What are my servants doing? They say they came to remember you, to praise you. It's a long hadith. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end of the hadith said, I, Allah needs uh, angels to witness but he tells his angel I am making you witness that I have forgiven them even a person coming amongst them not from them Coming for another intention, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels will say, but that one is not from them. He will say, لا يشقى هم القوم لا يشقى بهم جليسهم. They are the people whom whoever sits with them will be the happy ones. This is the importance of the Qur'an. We're not coming here for uh, anything else except to please our Lord. مدد يا أولياء الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله صنعنا بفضل الله